I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you another excellent question from my subscriber Arum. Arum, thanks a lot for sharing this question and other related questions for which I'm going to post the video soon. And I hope many students will benefit from this particular video. The question here is, a particle moves along a straight line where displacement x in meters for the first four seconds along a straight line is x equals to t minus one whole square plus four. You need to find velocity at t equals to zero and t equals to three, distance traveled in first four seconds, and c, average speed over the interval zero to four. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Well, let's begin with the displacement function given to us, x which is equal to t minus 1 whole square plus 4. Now velocity as a function of time is rate of change of displacement, right? So it is dx dt which will be 2 times t minus 1. Derivative using power rule, derivative of constant is 0. So we get the velocity function. Now from here, we can calculate velocity at t equals to 0 and also at t equals to 3. So let's use this formula and find the value of velocity at 0. It will be substituting 0 here. We get 2 times 0 minus 1, which gives us minus 2 meters per second. Now if I substitute 3 in this formula, what do I get? I get velocity for t equals to 3 as 2 times 3 minus 1, which is 2 times 2 as 4 meters per second. Right? So these two velocities do indicate change in direction as you can see from here. right? So initially, the particle is moving towards the object. And here at t equals to 3, the particle is moving away from the object, right? Now, part B is distance traveled in first 4 seconds. Now, this is a very interesting part. How do we find distance traveled? Well, let us have to, we need to find the velocity. When is it 0? Because that is the turning point, right? So here we can see that there is a turning point, right? So, so there is a turning point. So turning point means we are looking for time when velocity is equal to zero. So if I substitute zero here in the expression two times t minus one, we get the value of t as equal to one. So at one second, the object changes direction, correct? So that is very critical to understand. Now let's try to sketch displacement versus time graph. Now since we are talking about moving along a straight line, what I will do here is I will sketch the position along a straight line. So this line will represent for us the distance from the origin point O, some point of reference, right, with time, right, so with time t. So what we notice here is that at t equals to 0, what is the displacement? So let's find. So we'll find distance for t equals to 0, substituting 0 here in this formula, which is 0 minus 1 whole square plus 4, and that gives you that is 1 plus 4, which is 5 meters. So at t equals to 0, let's say this is the starting point t, the object is 5 units away from a reference point, correct? So at this position, t equals to 0, and x is equal to 5, right? 5 units away. Now the turning point, we know the velocity is negative. That means the object is moving towards this 
starting point or the reference frame. Now what is the displacement at t equals to 1? So at t equals to 1, if I substitute in this formula, I get 1 minus 1 whole square plus 4, we get 4 meters. So at t equals to 1, the object has moved 1 unit towards left. Right, So it comes here. So this is the position of the object at t equals to 1 and now the displacement x is equal to 4. That means in this one second the object has moved 1 meter. Perfect. Now at this point velocity is 0, right? So at t equals to 1 we know velocity is 0. We know v of 1 is 0. It is change in direction. So this concept is very important to understand, change in direction. So we need to now find distance traveled in 4 seconds. So let us find the distance when time is 4. Substituting 4 here, we get 4 minus 1 whole square plus 4. This is 3 square plus 4. 9 plus 4 is 13 meters. Correct? So that means in the next 4 seconds, it is at a position which is 13 meters away. Right. So from the reference point at t equals to 4, the distance x is 13 meters. So from here, which is 4 meters, how much distance has been traveled? 9 meters. Correct. So the difference 13 minus 4 is 9 meters. Correct. So this is 9 meters traveled. So therefore, total distance traveled is how much? So total distance traveled is 1 meter in the first second and then in 3 seconds it traveled 9 meters towards the right plus 9 and that gives you 10 meters. So the distance traveled in the first 4 seconds is equal to 10 meters. So I hope that is absolutely clear. So let's again talk about it. The particle starts from here, which is 4 meters away from the reference point. It moves 1 meter in 1 second. And then in the other 3 seconds, it moves away 9 meters. Total distance will be 9 plus 1, which is 10 meters. So I hope that is absolutely clear. Perfect. So that is how you have to answer this part. Now part C is, Average speed over the interval 0 to 4. Now, average speed clearly is distance traveled over time taken, right? So, average speed is equal to, let's write down, distance over time, right? You can say change in distance over change in time. Now, distance traveled is 10 meters and the time 0 to 4 is 4 minus 0, which is 4 seconds in the first 4 seconds. So we get this as 2.5 meters per second. So I hope that is absolutely clear, right? So that is how we could answer this particular question. So the distance traveled in the first 4 seconds is 10 meters and this is traveled at an average speed of 2.5 meters per second. Perfect. So I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.